Hey guys, uh, many of you are asking me uh, on the building the um, radar chart or spider chart in Tableau. I uh, take this opportunity to share with you how uh, I do the, um, the radar chart. Right. So I have um, in my screen here the Excel. So Excel is, is very easy to build a radar chart. Right? Just uh, put the number and insert the chart so it's automatically it, uh, build the chart for you. Uh, but today we do that in Tableau, right? much uh, um, more difficult. So um, I have uh, the data in my screen here in Excel. Um, if you guys are familiar with the sales and marketing, you will know the 5P in the marketing, right? So about the people, promotion, the place, visit the market, price, and the product. So I have two products here. It's ready to be launched by one company and they look into 5p for each product to see which one it uh, have the better readiness uh, to be launched right? so on the right hand side you see in the chart the um, have the five pillar and uh, the maximum score here is seven and uh, and uh, you can see the score of each of them the product uh, one is in the blue uh, the product uh, two is on uh, in the orange and you can see actually the um, the uh, product two is um, it more uh, ready than the product uh, one. Okay, um, now let's bring that into Tableau. So I have uh, my Tableau here. I import uh, uh, the file into uh, the Tableau right? and do the pivot table. Yeah, as we can see, you know, five P here. You know, we have the two product here, and we see the five piece uh, value here right, for each of them uh, and this one I will share to you later so I, uh, I start to build right? the first one in order to build I create a four um, four uh, items we see very much the mathematically uh, uh, formula uh, to build the uh, radar right? the first one is the uh, angle so the angle, uh, basically we will take the um, total uh, 360 degrees of the circle uh, we divide by the, <coughs> uh, because we want to put the uh, five item, right? so we want to divide by the five, uh, uh, we will divide by the five angle and uh, you run it jump and the last item is to, to turn the cycle um, at the uh, 90 degree, you know, on the, on the, on, on the top. And then uh, the second thing, the second item will be the distance to the center of the, um, of the radar, right? So it, it is just a sum of the uh, 5p value of the score. And I have, after that, I build the, uh, um, the, uh, the, um, Axis, you see the X and Y. X is basically the formula to create. We see the distance to the center. Uh, it multiply with the course of the angle we create from the from the first one. And then for the Y, uh, we just uh, change the formula by the sign by the sine of the angle. Right, multiply with the distance to the, to the uh, center of the of the radar. So now I I bring it in. Um, I will print the 5B, uh, we see uh, 5 value uh, in 2, and then I print the angle. Right? Uh, the angle I use is um, table calculation uh, on top of 5B. Uh, this is the way we do, and we print X to D, uh, and then Y in 2. And you can see <coughs> we have the couple of value here look like the, the, the polygons are the, almost um, in the right shape um, we change this one into the polygon right? and uh, we can uh, print angle into pet so now you can see the uh, the shape of the um, of the polygon now uh, we have two products, so I will print two products in different color. So you can see two color in here. <coughs> so 
so now I almost have it. Um, So I will disable tooltip. Uh, let me disable tooltip. We don't need uh, tooltip to appear in here. Uh. Tooltip. Uh, remove it. Yeah. Here. Tooltip. Yeah. So we have two. <coughs> So now, um, what uh, we can do is we can view some, uh, you know, some uh, um, the score in here, right? We cannot, we got a polygon, we cannot put the label in here. So what I can do is uh, we can do the two assets, right? In here, we create another one. On the second one, it rather than the polygon, we can change that to be cycle. Right, so now we have a cycle. Do it to be bigger on the cycle, right? and then uh, you can print the uh, 5B into here. So now you have it. Oh, I don't think I don't think we need to print it here. Let's uh, merge it first to see what uh, will happen. Let me do our sit here. Right? This, uh, why the header is not in here? Let me see if the header is in here. Yeah, so header here. I think we need to synchronize it. Yeah, okay. Now we can hide the header. Okay. Now we have the, the polygon. So now I need to create the, uh, you know, the outsides of, uh, of the polygon, right? The, uh, uh, the chart, the, the map, the outer of the, uh, or the ruler or the outer of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, of the radar. But before that, I think it, uh, I can put a little bit format here, just remove, uh, the line here, it's unnecessary to leave it here. Cleaner. All right, and then now I go to build the uh, the, the border of that. So in the border, you know, with, uh, I I gonna do the same view like this one, but um, the border is its own the uh, own the pillar. We go to the maximum level, which is seven. Let me check one more time. To ensure this one, it, uh, it uh, the exits here is actually it, uh, the oh, one thing I need to check which is this one. I want to put seven, sorry, seven as well. just want to ensure the uh, chart will uh, have the uh, synchronize uh, the right uh, axis and then the uh, y axis and x axis in the, uh, to ensure that the shape of the radar is balanced. Now we can turn it out. Right, I'm gonna build a bit the border, uh, but the border I think it's uh, let uh, let uh, duplicate this one quicker. This one. Okay, let's see this here is not the uh, outer. 
okay on the on the outer um, what I gonna do is rather than to use the X and I use the max X which is just uh, um, on the distance to the center it rather than I use the formula so now I put it maximum is 7 so it is almost the same so I will touch uh, this one out what I use is the max y and max x. So now I have the, um, the shape of the um, of the um, greater now, but it uh, equal from the from the center to every point of the greater is uh, is equal. Right? Yeah, that fine. Bring it a little bigger. I can print here. Yeah, just, just show the um, again. I try this one. Okay. So now, this is this is more fancy uh, background. I, I will share with you in the uh, another one, another version. So now, uh, let's bring that into uh, into the um, the dashboard. Right? So now I use the floating uh, mode. And I will print the first one. I put the outer in. Right. I think it's a little bit tight. Okay, and then I print the polygon in. Yeah, just hide the title. I don't hide the title as well. I think here, if I can do, I think I can bring the the five P value in. So I had a score in here. So it looked like I had a score in here as well. Which is good. It's up to you how to uh, print this one. Right? But now, yes, so now you can have the um, radar, right? You can have the product one or product two. We see. Um, you can see the product uh, 2 here right, in the orange color um, we see more have the more advanced version with the with the much more readiness than the product uh, 1 in the in the green color right. so we see this, this is the way I, I think the uh, radar charts and it's very much the formula uh, I hope you enjoyed through that view